So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can automate any trading view strategy on your exchange with free commas. So all the exchanges that are supported, you can see right here. Every exchange where the DCA bot is enabled, this is where you can automate the strategy with free commas. So you can see that most of the biggest exchanges like Binance, FTX, and also Binance US would be supported. Now, what you will need for this to work is first of all, you're going to need a free commas plan. Um, you can keep staying on the free plan if you only have one bot. If you want multiple bots, then you would need to switch the plan. If you don't have a free commas account, then there's a link in the description where you can sign up. Furthermore, you will also need a trading viewer account where you will at least need the pro plan because we need the ability to send webhook notifications to our free commas account. So you would need to upgrade to the pro plan. Again, if you use the link in the description, you can save up to $30 if you order the pro subscription. So first of all, we're going to do the bot setup on free commas, which is actually pretty straightforward. We're just going to create a new DCA bot and I'm going to call it Trading view custom strategy bot. Uh, for this video, I'm going to use a single pair bot. You could also use multi pair bot. Then there's a little difference where you just specify the pair. But to keep it simple, I'm going to use single pair and I'm going to use Bitcoin USDT since my strategy will run on Bitcoin. Then we can leave everything else as it is. We just need to set the base order size as to how big we want our position to be. For example, if we want to buy $10 worth of Bitcoin whenever this, uh, whenever the strategy enters along, then we just enter 10. If we want to buy $100, we just enter 100, which I'm just going to do right here. As for the deal starting condition, we're going to need TradingView custom signals. Don't confuse it with the normal TradingView deal starting conditions. These are just the built-in buy and strong buy from TradingView, but we will need TradingView custom signals. As for the take profit, we don't want the take profit to be set in the free commerce bot, but we want everything to be determined by our strategy. So our strategy will determine when we want to close our deal. So we will just set this to 1000, which is the max value. So we can guarantee that it will not close on its own, but it will wait until our strategy will send a signal to the bot that it has to close. As for the safety orders, Again, we don't want to use any built-in dollar cost averaging. We want everything to be done by our strategy. So we just change the max safety trace count to zero. After that, we can go ahead and create the bot. We're not going to start it right now, but we're going to close it for now. Now you get to your overview of your bot, where we can scroll down and see all the messages that we will need to send to the free commerce account so that it will start the bot. So we'll stop right here and now we're going to set up the strategy. So in my previous video, I showed how you can backtest any strategy that you have in mind on TradingView. And this is now the strategy that I will use for this video. If you haven't checked out the video, you can have a look in the description or in the info box up here. The strategy was really simple. It was just if we add it to the chart, we will probably easily see it. Every time the 14 day SMA crosses above the 28 day SMA, we will open a long position. Every time the 14 day SMA crosses under the 28 day SMA, we will close our long position and open a short. Now, if we have a quick look at the overview, I'm just going to show you that this is definitely not a strategy that you would want to trade on. This is just for demonstration purposes. Please don't use it with your real money because it will most likely not work out. But what we could first of all do is we can set up alerts on our strategy. But you will quickly notice that we are going to need two alerts because we need one alert to start the deal and one alert to close the deal. Now, with these alerts on our strategy, we cannot tell if it's an open or if it's a close. We can only send one alert. So this wouldn't quite work out. But what we can else do is that in Pine Editor, we have something called alert and alert conditions. If I'm going to quickly open the PineScript manual reference, and then we have a look for alert, we can see the PineScript actually has a built-in alert function. So whenever we open a long position, we could then also create an alert 
that we, that we will send to the bot that will open a deal. And then for the short position, whenever a short position is open, we can then send an alert, obviously with another message, to the bot to close the deal. So whenever there is a long position, we open a deal. Whenever there is a short position, we will close the deal. Obviously, this is a really easy example. You can uh, develop it to be more advanced so we can actually set, for example, a 3% take profit and a 2% stop loss could also be easily implemented. If you'd be interested in that, just let me know and we can do another video about that. But for now, we're going to change a few things. First of all, we are going to delete this when condition on our strategy entries. And we're going to instead make it an if. So if the long condition is true, then we want to enter a long position. And we also want to create an alert. Same is then if it's not a long condition, but if it's a short condition, we then want to enter a short and we want to create an alert. Now the alert takes two parameters. First of all, it's going to take the message. And secondly, it's going to take the frequency. Now as for the alert message, this is the message that will be copied from your bot. So to start a deal, we will just click on this message, we will copy it and we will paste it into the alert. As for the frequency, we can set alert dot and then either frequency dot all. So it will, whenever this is true, the alert will be sent once per bar or once per bar close. We're gonna take once per bar. So this alert now will only execute once per bar, which in this case, if we have a look at top, will be at most once a minute. Then for the short condition, we want to do the same, but just copy the other message to close the order at the market price, copy paste this into the field, and then alert dot frequency once per bar. If we save the strategy now, you will see that this doesn't quite work because the formatting in the alert is a little wrong. So the first parameter is actually a string, but you can see that this part right here is a JSON, so it cannot be read as a string. So what we will need to do is we need to enter these simple quotation marks in the beginning and the end of the string, so that PineScript will actually interpret it as a complete string. Now, if we save the strategy, we can see that it successfully saves. And now we have our alerts set up to be sent to free commas. But what we need to do to, for the alerts to be actually sent to free commas is to set up the webhook itself. So what we can do is we can go to our alerts on the right. We can create an alert up here. As for the condition, we select our strategy. So whatever the name of your strategy is, you just select this. And then you want to select alert function calls only. So we only want this alert to be sent to our free commas bot when we actually call the alert in the code. The webhook all can then be copied from free commas uh, guide on how to use trading your custom signals. But I will also put this URL in the description of the video. We just copy paste it and we can create it. We can now see that our alerts are actually active. And in order for the bot to start taking these alerts in, we obviously need to start it. So as soon as, we, as we've started it, the bot will wait until there's an alert being sent and then it will create a new deal. So while we are waiting for an alert to be executed, what you can do actually is search for any script on TradingView that you want to automate or you can think about any strategy that you want to automate and you can actually put it into PineScript and you can automate it immediately with the alerts that I just showed you. Now, for example, if on TradingView you search for Bitcoin, go to scripts and then filter for the strategies that are open source only, you can take any of these strategies, copy the code, send the alerts to your free commerce bot and it's automatically automated. So I just had a few alerts triggered. You can see them all on the alert log. And if we go back to our free commerce bot, we can now see on the overview that there were a lot of um, events going on. And if we go to our history, we filter for the bot that we just created. 
we can see that the bot in the meantime has opened and closed two trades. So I hope this video helps you out a lot and gives you a lot of inspiration how you can automate your trading strategy on any exchange with free commerce. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video. And if you want to see other content, please leave a subscribe.